Hey guys, welcome back to 39 Line. Today we're going to be learning all about the GBU24 on the F16, and we're going to be busting some bunkers on the Syria map. So today we're in the F16. I have four GBU24 2,000 pound bunker buster bombs loaded up on my aircraft. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, select your target and also how to line up with the azimuth line, selecting them on the different MFDs and releasing them. Um, and then also in the rearm and refuel window, you can go ahead and alt apostrophe. And what you have here is four stations that you can load the GBU-24s on. So you right click, go to bombs, GBU-24, Paveway 3, 2,000 pound laser guided bombs. They can go on station 7, 6, 4, and 3. Okay, make sure you have your TGP uh, loaded up too. Alright, other than that, we are good to go. There's the steering on and taxi to the runway. Now this is going to be a quick and easy uh, video on how to start dropping GBU-24s right away. Um, but if you want a more in-depth video, I highly suggest going to Matt Wagner's um, YouTube page and watching his GBU-24 breakdown uh, in the F-16. This is just a quick and dirty way to show you guys um, what I do to hop in the F-16 and take the targets out. ASAP. Now, each of these bombs weighs 2,000 pounds, so we have an extra 8,000 pounds of weight on the F-16, but that is not a problem because the F-16 is a powerful little beast. Gets the job done. I'm gonna get about 20,000 feet uh, and then do a U turn and head towards the AO. As we're gaining altitude, I'm gonna go ahead and select air to ground. And on my right MFD, I'm just going to go ahead and select the OSB 14 button down here, and then OSB 19 for TGP. Now press DMS down to select your left MFD as soy, and then TMS left uh, to switch to white hot. Alright, we are looking good. We are now at 21,000 feet. Um, and my TGP is pointed at steer point one, which is about 7,000 feet up in the air. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that down to the area of our bunkers. Let's zoom in. Yep, so we got a bunker there. Let's hit arrow. I think OSB 3 is... Yep, OSB 3 is narrow mode for the TGP. Let's move it up to the bunker with our radar cursor and press TMS up. So now we have that set and uh, that is our target. So now it's locked. Our TGP is locked onto it. Our laser knows where to point. And uh, if you guys can see, I put a couple uh, ISIS targets out in front of these bunkers. I just want to see how many um, enemies die from the 2,000 pounders um, hitting the bunkers. So this is going to be a little uh, science experiment on casualties, damage assessment, as well as uh, learning how to drop these GBU-24s. So uh, on our HUD you can actually see that we have our aircraft pipper lined up with the vertical azimuth line. Um, and then on the right side you can see a little arrow dropping into your range to target box. Now that circle is your drop, basically it's your drop ball. So as long as you are lined up with your vertical azimuth line and the drop ball pops up, um, 
you're in line with your target and you can uh, and you're looking pretty healthy now what you want to do is squeeze your trigger so that way you see the L on the left MFD flashing and hold the trigger as you press the weapon release button so I'm gonna go ahead and push the weapon release I just felt one of them release so the whole aircraft just shimmy to the right so now I'm going to continue to hold my laser trigger um, as the bomb sails down to that bunker okay, so the weapon release for you. looking pretty good I'm going to hit autopilot so autopilot's on that's going to help me um, keep and maintain my heading in altitude while we watch this bomb. Okay, looking pretty good. like we got everything that was out on the sides and in front of that bunker as well so the damage of these uh, GBU-24s is pretty insane got the targets out in front and the bunker so killed let's see what we killed uh, we killed one two three four five wow we killed five insurgents and the two vehicles out in front very nice let's go ahead and retrim here so we're not fighting the aircraft dipping over to one side Let's go ahead and turn around. Now I did put an SU-33 inside of another bunker. So I stuck the SU-33 down into this one. I'm just kind of curious to see if it'll go through this bunker and take that aircraft out. So that's going to be our next target. Turn around. Maintain Angels 20. There we go. We're lined up with our azimuth line. Got a little bit of range to target there. Arrow's not in the box yet. So let's hold 20,000 feet. Now we just wait. Looking pretty good. Here's our drop ball. Let's go ahead and squeeze the trigger for squirting the laser. And now we are within range, so we're going to go ahead and release another one. Keep holding that trigger down, keep squirting that laser on your target. That way the uh, bomb knows where to go. We trimming over to the right here. Okay, let's go to weapon release mode. Keep holding that trigger down. That's the trickiest part. Sometimes I just want to release it. It's, it just doesn't feel natural to hold the trigger down for that long. That's okay. There we go.
Okay, so that bunker is done. These bunkers cannot withstand the GBU-24 2,000 pound bomb. Let's come back over here. Select another bunker. Let's turn into it. Okay. Right there. Squirt the laser and release. That one's a little close. I'm still up at 18,000 feet. I just want to see um, as a quick turnaround and distance type of thing if it will actually land on target and destroy it. So for rapid GBU-24 testing, um, let's see if it does the job. I think this long as it's got all of the info that it needs um, as far as direction and placement and you're up at the right altitude, it should be fine. Looking good, looking good. Nice. That's a shack. Those guys at that airport are not having a good day. Make sure I have enough fuel. Looking good. Okay, I'm just going to get that arrow out of that box and then turn around. I have one more GBU-24. You know what? For science, let's drop it in between these last two bunkers. Let's see what happens. Let's put it right on this guy. These two bunkers are pretty close together. Why not? Okay. Squirting the laser. Lined up on our vertical azimuth line. Now we wait for that arrow to drop into the box before we're releasing. So there we go, it's in the box. Let's go ahead and release. There it is. So we want to wait for that secondary line to come in to make the box. And um, let's see what happens to our little friend down there. trigger a little bit. See if it's still on target. Yep, still on target. We're good. Now I'm just trying to see if it'll destroy two bunkers at one time uh, by placing it in the center. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for the GBU-24s today uh, and the F-16. Hope you guys had fun and I'll see you guys in the skies.